Okay. This is WCR. I'm Susan Vickers, and it's still live day, even though James isn't here, he's having a fabulous time. He has message, so I know he's listening in, so hope you're having a great time, James. We're managing, don't worry, I haven't switched us off air or anything yet. But, like I said, it's still live day, and we still have a fabulous singer-songwriter from just around the corner by the name of Chris Westwood. How are you? Hello, how are you? I'm excellent. Oh, Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Not a problem. I like to come out in the sunshine now. Do you? Yeah. I think you brought it with you. <laughs> He's the tallest man I've ever seen in the studio. He's like nine foot five or something <laughs> like that. He's nearly touching the lights. But no, thank you no, for joining no us. Just a little bit about you. You were in a band mm-hmm. for ten years yeah. called Dirty Little Lies. Yeah. And now you're going solo. Yeah, I mean, Dirty Little Lies, it was... I had the most fantastic time. Um, it was a, a big part of my life. It was the first time that I'd ever put any sort of music out to anyone and, and showed anyone my music, really. Okay. Uh, but going solo, um, I'd always had two or three songs where there was never quite right for the band for the same we was going for. Um, and I'd got in the studio with um, with Gavin Monaghan at Magic Garden. and Fabulous we, producer. Uh, absolutely amazing. The... the He's an unsung hero in the music. He, is. Not, he does not get enough credibility for the bands for what he that has he's done. recorded. Yeah. is ridiculous yeah. and very humble. Yeah, and it, 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 it's nice. He, he invited me into the studio. He'd heard a, a little version of the song I'd put up on Facebook, and he, he invited me down. He said, "I've got some wicked ideas for this song." We had violins in it, all sorts, and it sounded absolutely amazing. The sound we captured that day. It, I'd, I'd put that on paper and say that's that. That's what my sound is. Okay, so you're now solo. Mm-hmm. And this, it was by default, was it? Didn't you put upload a drunken yeah. <laughs> song to social media? Yeah, there's a few too many milkshakes one night. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd put this little, I'd, I'd been working on the keyboard. Um, I'm no Ray Charles, but I'd managed to work out a few chords um, and put them together and come up with the song Love and War. Um, and yeah, it took from there. I, I had so much interest, like in the space of two or three hours, people messaging me saying, oh, it's a really good song, get in the studio, get it recorded. Uh, so I did just that. And so is that a different audience to Dirty Little Lies? Yeah, yeah. We had a, we, it, we, we'd just come out of school, so if you can imagine, we'd, we was fresh out of school. We had loads of friends. Over time, the friends dwindle off and yeah. you end up playing to a man and his dog. <laughs> <laughs> but the man and his dog has brought you here today. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the last two two years as a solo artist, it's, it's been incredible. I've played some absolute amazing gig and made some really good good memories. Did you play guitar in your band? I did, yeah. I was a singer-songwriter. Towards the end, I'd, I'd started to put the guitar down and um, bust out a few dance moves and whatnot. But, you turned uh, into Bruno Mars. We had, we had, yeah, we had no routine, so I'd bust out a moonwalk now and again. But. <laughs> <laughs> so you released a, a single, Love and War. Yep. How did that go down? It was good. Um, I never really had the expectation of it to sort of blow up and become a, a superstar. And But yeah, it... it, it any any recognition was good for for people to turn around and say, look, that that is a, a really well written song. That is what means the most to me. I think getting, yeah, yeah, getting the nod from your peers and when when people sort of tap you on the back and say, you know what, you've you've done a sterling job yeah. on that. That's that's what what it does. It sounds really corny and, and cliche, but but it, it warms the soul, doesn't it? It does. It does. And uh, we are in Wolverhampton. You yeah. are a Wolves supporter, yeah. and they paid you a fabulous compliment, didn't they? They did. They did. Um, I. I like I said, recorded Love and War, um, and I, I'd sent it in to Jason, who's a, a presenter on, on one of the WCR shows. Um, Jason Favis. Indeed, just plugging in there. Yeah, big up, big up. <laughs> uh, and yeah, he, he'd had a listen to the song, um, and as far as I was aware, he liked what he, he heard, and he'd messaged my record label, Strawberry Moon, and uh, he'd, he'd said that he was going to put it on at this Wolves promotion party, and I was like, that, that is unreal, there's going to be 30,000 people hearing my song. Uh, then a couple of days later, um, I'd, I'd got a message. I think it was like the the day before the the actual gig, and uh, the the manager of the record label got in touch and he'd sort of said, uh, "We've had a call up, but they actually want you to play the song live. They want you to open the day." So as you can imagine, open for a, <laughs> open the day. So for a, for a Wolves fan, wasn't there like eighty thousand people there? There, or there was thirty seven thousand in in West Park and a further eighty thousand in in the city centre watching oh, on the screens. And, I mean, no to, pressure. To, no, to walk out on, I, I'm numb to it. I'm, I'm completely numb. I, I can't tell you what I felt at that time walking out on the stage and just seeing a mass of people. And I, I, I did um, I O Silver Lining with the Wolverhampton hashtag yeah. in there, and uh, to to have thirty thousand people sing that back to you, 
it, it, it's oh, mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. I can imagine. Did you have a wolf's top on? I didn't. No, I, I think I'd wrapped a scarf around my uh, around my guitar strap. They could have given you one. I, I did think that, but and w- walking off stage, the th- first person to acknowledge it was Tito Jackson from the Jackson Just Five. Tito. And I, I, I was sort of looking at him. And I, 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 I used to watch you when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to imitate your dance moves and things like that. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was mind blowing. Completely mind blowing. And, and um, Gary Stringer. And was Gary there. Stringer was really? there. Yeah. Well, I, I had a bit of an unfortunate fun. event with Gary Stringer. Oh no. Um, just after I'd come off stage, actually, there was a, a guy there with long hair and a beard. And I thought that's Gary Stringer. So I took up my mobile phone and I said, "Yeah, with the lead singer of Reef." And I could see him. I could fit, sort of feel his eyes burn in the back of my head. And I'd stop the video. And he said, "I'm not in Reef." He was a completely different bloke. And I, oh, I, I, I felt so, I wish the world would have swallowed me at that point. <laughs> did you get one with Gary? In I then? did get one with Gary. Yeah, we had a, we had a beer after as well. And uh, <laughs> he's I, 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 a massive one. He is. Yeah, fan, yeah, isn't yeah he? he is. And um, I was quite surprised that uh, the lead singer of Led Zeppelin weren't there, Robert Plant, because he was. Um, um, I think he had prior arrangements or something like that. Though. Oh, well, that was prior <laughs> arrangements. Yeah. Okay, so but you are solo now. I am, Has yeah. your writing style changed from being solo to being in the band? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, th- I think with the band, it was all boisterous lad guitar music, and mm. that, that's the sort of image that we went for. I find myself being a bit more naive when I'm I'm writing as a solo artist. I find, yeah, naivety and and childlike thoughts. Really? Uh, yeah, I, 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 it, it's really strange. Like without trying to sound too clever or anything like that, it is something that just comes. It's not a, a process where you think about writing a song or you go in trying to think about writing a song it's it it just sort of happens you can sit there i, I, I can be sitting you just, can't force it can and, you no, and it'll just come and I'll, I'll have weeks and weeks where nothing comes and then someone will hit me like a bus and i'll there'll be four or five more tunes there okay mm. so what's coming up next for you have you got plans for eps yeah i mean at the, at the minute i've been sitting on a body of songs there's about 12 songs which i, I want to take forward which are uh, ones i've used with bands in the past but never sort of released okay. um, so I've been in the studio with uh, a, a band from Birmingham called the Mojo Filters okay. um, and we've been working with them uh, just to try and develop a sound and see, see where we're going from but it, it, there's nothing concrete I'm not sort of saying oh, I'm in this band now um, yeah I just want to get back into the studio get, get back uh, doing what I think I do best okay who influences you musically I'm a massive Beatles fan uh, really? I always have been bit controversial at the minute Michael Jackson uh, Michael Jackson's always been someone I've listened to not so much took influence other than the dance moves yeah um, but yeah Beatles um, Paolo Nutini that, that Paolo Nutini I think he was so underrated yeah yeah I've, I've, I've heard there is a no, new album coming out yeah. that's not an exclusive and I'm not <laughs> trying to not jump on any bandwagon or anything there, like but, that yeah what have you got coming up got any festivals any gigs coming up not at the minute no, I sort of took a hiatus um, just to get your I, song right yeah I, I spent the last 12 months playing a lot of pub gigs um Travelling round on my own, and it sort of gets like a hard day's night after a while. Um, Travelling Beatles, the, Beatles reference <laughs> there. <laughs> Travelling to the back end of Stoke on your own and having to lump your gear. Out. I, sh- I just need a roadie. I think that's all it is. Yeah, you do. All mm. groupy. Uh, I can I double up. Just a roadie would do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna show us your, some of your new stuff. Yeah. Um, I'll hand everything over to you. This is Chris Westwood. Thank you. The, the first song I'm gonna play. Uh, it's called Bottom of the Bottle. Sitting quiet at the bottom of the bottle Music so loud it's drowning out your sorrow Keep back and you try to relax There's too much going on out of the blue, you saw red Reconsidered all the words you said And you closed your eyes Hope and you pray Yeah, hey, yeah, hey Watch the clock as the time goes by and feels him not going out of your mind And your eyes glow, your mind blows You feel it in your veins And we'll all go where the wind blows And it echoes and tornadoes But it settles tomorrow But you can't wait that long I'm falling over 
I can't quite seem to keep my feet on the ground I'm rolling over in excitement for it When you're feeling hypnotic Try to make a rubble, but you make a wave And you try to relive all of your glory days But it's not the same, yourself to blame We all see it for you You follow the people that lead you to nowhere You wake up in a room that you watch new I'm falling over I can't quite seem to keep my feet on the ground I'm rolling over in excitement for it When you're feeling hypnotic I'm rolling over I can't quite seem to keep my feet on the ground I'm rolling over in excitement for it When you're feeling it, not it. Cheers, thank you. The next song I'm going to play is uh, a cover. I'm sure you all know it. It's called um, Stand By Me. song I'm going to play, uh, it's the single I recorded uh, with Strawberry Moon Records. Uh, this one's called Love and War. on my way Don't cry oh, for me now Cause a teardrop in the ocean ain't what we need We'd sing to songs that never made much sense We'd dance around the garden and we'd sit on a fence 
We wouldn't argue and we wouldn't fight Just fools in love tonight Don't get me wrong I'm still amazed by you How can I be strong when I'm living without you? When all is well in love and war It's you But I adore na 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 From one day to the next my heart grew fonder I suppose you're not the one to blame With a fire still burning, my mind began to wonder Can we fight the fire and tame the flame? We'd sit and talk about the good old days You give me your affection, then you take it away We just can't help it if the feeling's right Just fools in love tonight Don't get me wrong I'm still amazed by you How can I be strong When I'm living without you When all is well in love and war It's you But I adore na 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 How can I be strong when I'm living without you? When all is well in love and war, it's you that I adore. Chris Westwood. Your voice, Chris, it marry. You've got that gravel that would marry itself beautifully with Gary Stringer. Oh, thank you. I'll take that, that in, as a compliment. It, it, is, it is a compliment. He's got a beautiful... Well, I think he's got a real soulful tone, yeah. myself. Uh, I told him that I met him not so long ago when he was at the Robin Toon. He's such a nice guy as well. Yeah, so that yeah. is a compliment. Um, with that in mind, who would be your ultimate du- duet? Um, who would you like to That's a good question. You? That's a very good question. Um, Thanks. Ultimate duet... Male or female? I think uh, Alex Turner, uh, uh, the Arctic Monkeys, I'd, I'd, I'd like to give him a run for his money. You run for his money, OK? <laughs> 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 it sounds really bad. <laughs> OK, so uh, that was Love and War. Yeah. So that's out. Mm-hmm. People can buy that now, download yeah, it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's everywhere where you'd, you'd, you'd expect to find it. Spotify, okay. iTunes. So how can people keep in touch with everything that you're doing with Chris Westwood? I'll just drop me a message on Facebook. I'll talk to anyone. <laughs> OK, what's your Facebook? <laughs> uh, it's Chris Westwood X, I think. Oh, a kiss on the end. A kiss, a kiss or an X. Okay. <laughs> okay, and you're on all the usual iTunes, Deezer. Yeah, yeah. you'll all find, of those. find me everywhere. Okay, well, thank you for <laughs> nah, coming. No, not a problem. Thank you for today. having me. I appreciate it. That was Mr. Chris Westwood. Check him out. You won't regret it. Thanks later. <laughs> 